Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the inlet water valve on your washer. That's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a putty knife, a quarter inch nut driver, and a pair of slip joint pliers. Let me show you how we do it. Now the first step in this repair will be to disconnect the power to the washer, so simply unplug it. We're also going to need to turn off the hot and cold water supplies and disconnect the hose from the inlet valve and pull the washer far enough forward that we can access the back. The next we're going to take a putty knife and we're going to come in about three or four inches from either side and until we find a little spring clip and simply press that clip with your putty knife while lifting up on the top and just hold that until we do the opposite side and then we can raise the top. Now we'll need to have the washer somewhere where we can support that main top from going back too far. So next we'll take our quarter inch nut driver and there's a single screw at the bottom of that fill valve. We'll just remove that. And then lift up slightly on the valve and push it through the opening from the back. Also disconnect the little hose clip that is supporting that outlet hose. You can then lift the valve up out of the opening and then we're going to remove the wires from the terminals on the solenoids. Just take note of the location of the, each of those wires. And then with our slip joint pliers, we're going to remove that hose clamp. Just slide it up on the hose and twist the hose off of the old valve. And then we can discard that valve. We'll then take the new valve, we'll fit that hose onto the outlet. Reposition that clamp. We'll next take our wire harness and reconnect the wires to the terminals on the solenoid. And we also need to make sure that these wires are tight on the terminals and if they appear a bit loose just take our pliers and give them a little crimp and then put them back on. So next we'll lower that inlet valve down into the cabinet. Push it out through the opening. Once it's fully inserted, you should be able to push straight down to lock it in place. Next we'll reinstall the retaining screw. Remember to reinstall that clip that holds the outlet hose in place. Push that through the opening in the back of the cabinet. Make sure that there's no kinks in the hose. We can then lower the main top. Center it up. And then snap it in place. We can now reconnect the power and our inlet hoses. Push the washer back into position and our repair is complete.